What's going on you guys? It's Randy with Full Throttle Obsessions. Today we're going to do some of the not so fun stuff about going out and having fun and bashing around in the dirt. Today we're going to be doing a little cleanup. Of course I got quite a few dirty RCs here. We've been having a lot of fun these last couple weeks and I haven't got around to cleaning any of them. So today I thought I'd just kind of go through the, the process. I do have a few steps that I go through when I, when I clean my RCs. A little disclaimer, you're going to want to make sure that your RC has waterproof electronics before you follow these steps. But alright, without further ado, let's go ahead and do it. Now I'm going to be cleaning all these pretty much in one shot. Now for the sake of the video, we're just going to be cleaning my 8S X Max. I'm sure you guys get pretty bored if I, I cleaned all of them on camera, so we're just going to stick to this one just for the sake of the video. Personally, I like to clean all my RCs outside. I don't really like having a mess. I have to a big mess I have to clean up after I do all the cleaning on my RCs. Now the first thing I did, I got my hose set up. I have this old sprayer nozzle. It's one of the, the best sprayers I have, so we're gonna go ahead and use that. Now we're just gonna start hosing it off. Now, as you can see, just spraying it down really got most all the dirt and crud off of it. Now, if it, if I was planting a lot, of, a lot of like silt, mud, I will remove the tires and do a little more thorough cleaning, and also kind of scrub everything thing down with a brush. But as for washing, that's really, really all it takes, especially in the summertime when the dirt's real dry and dusty. You see, the X Max is broke. Let's go ahead. And See if I can move it there. We ended up breaking the steering arm. The last little bash that we had. We're getting it cleaned up. We're going to get that fixed. And get it ready for the next round. Let's go ahead and move to the second step. Now what I'll do, I'll go ahead and turn on the air compressor. And I'll get me a little air nozzle. And I'll go ahead and spray all the water out of it. Because your screws will rust if you're washing your RCs out. And also, if there's any spot that the water, some dirt, and you couldn't get out with the water hose, the air nozzle, especially if you got a small tip on it, will usually blow it right out. I usually spray the inside of the body. But I just go around. I'll even I'll flip it up and I'll spray in there. Then 
that is probably gonna be really loud on camera, so I don't know how, how much of that I'm actually gonna show, but you can see with the pressure of that air, it just blows that water right out of there. All right, we got them all cleaned up and back on the shelf. I should have actually took my summit down and cleaned it a little better today, but I, I didn't really think about it. And then I got the X-Max on the bench. We got to replace the steering arm on it. I also got the E-Revo 2.0 right there. We broke the end on the suspension rod, so we're going to get one of those tomorrow and get that fixed. That was just a quick video on how I clean my RCs. I like to keep that process quick and easy because if I spend too much time cleaning up the RCs, I never want to take them out and get them dirty again. So I just do it quick and easy. That way the missus is happy and they're presentable. As always, if you guys like my videos, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.